tell you what, this is a beautiful looking creek right here, folks. I like that watercolor. It's not too clear. It's not too dingy. We'll just walk on down here and see what we can see. Really, all of it looks good. It's kind of hard. There's not much current flow. Let's see what we got. It kind of broadens out right here. Let's try this right here. Now, all I have with me is just jigs, little bitty jigs. This is a little slab tail jig right here with a little bitty jig head with a number. That's a number eight hook. And I have a truser rod and a little old Daiwa right here, a 1,000 size with two pound line. And we're just going to see what we can come up with. There's no telling what's in this creek. I don't know anything about this creek. We'll see what kind of species lives in it. It's not really one of those that, of course the water's too cold right now, but it's not one of those creeks that you'd want to wade. Or I wouldn't, the water's too dingy. There's one. My goodness, that seems like a good fish right here. But remember, I'm using two pound test line to get out of there. Get out of there. That's a good bluegill right there. Now, they ain't nothing wrong with that out of a little creek. That's a northern strain bluegill. That's a good one, ain't it? Well, that's species number one. Look at there, folks. Gotta love it. I'm gonna get on down here. I don't like to throw them that far probably don't hurt them i'm just i'm just that way there we go let's let him go right there northern strain bluegill that fish was almost as big as my hand that's a pretty good deal in the creek i'm just going to pitch right there and bring it back along this bank right here it looks good all this looks good to me As long as it's water, I like it. Now I selected that black and pink for a reason. That's pretty, if you'll look at that little slab tail, see how that tail does. It's real visible, real visible. Let's make a cast over here. These fish could be anywhere. That's a little 1.75 slab tail jig. It's got a real skinny profile inch and three quarter long i've taught i've caught a ton of crappie on this particular jig and i'm just working it real slow this water is not very deep so i don't have hey i see a fish right there laying right in front of that log and i got it <laughs> what do we got <laughs> there look at there that's a little red breast sunfish come on back he looked like he had a little hybrid in him but i believe he was a little red breast let's make another cast there they could be some more fish right there's a good one y'all see that fish it just climbed off of that log and just eat that little jig my 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 I want you to look. That's our good fish. What have we got, Elmo? Come on in here. Look at there. That's a red breast sunfish. Sure is. You're talking about a good eating fish. He's big enough. Now, when it comes to creek fishing, we have creeks all over the place here on this mountain. Let's let him go. And I know that the majority of them is not even explored. It's just full of them. Let's see if we can do that again. There's one. What I'm doing right there, there's a log laying there. Well, y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm throwing past it, bringing it to me where it falls right on the front side of that log because the way the sun is right now, the shade's projected on this side of the log. 
and those fish are under there. They're under the log. Let's try that again. My, my, my. There's one right there. Golly. Most of them's really small. I've seen three or four right there. There's one. My, my. You're talking about pulling. This is that Truser rod. 280 $300 worth. That quick victor from iFish. Give it to me. Can you believe that? That's a good one. That's a female northern strain bluegill. That's the female. So let her go. I'm going to tell you, Mama Sue, if she was here, she'd let them go, all right, into the bucket. I believe I've wore out my welcome right here. Let's walk on down, folks. Oh, we look here. What a place. Let's see if I can get out here without going swimming. Got a log laying there. Right in behind it. On the down current side should be some fish. I changed colors with my slab tail. I got a little different color on, or a lot different. I estimated about, about four feet, four and a half feet. I'm gonna let it go to the, now I got bit right there on the fall. I was gonna let it go to the bottom, then barely pick it up off the bottom and bring it back to me. There's one, wow. I got a good fish right here. I want y'all to look what I got. A doggone crappie. And I got it. And now I can't believe that. Cannot believe that out of this little creek. Now I'm going to have to. I don't want to lose him. Let's see if we can jump him over. Oh. doing a no-no right here there he is that's a black crappie i want y'all to look they follow me around that one right there that's a male i guarantee you that's i knew there's gonna be a fish right there i didn't know it was gonna be a crappie that's a male right there he's about ready to spawn or has already i'm not sure Ain't that something? That fish is 10 inches long. Or maybe a little more. Dead gone it. Sorry about that, folks. I can't stay up there. That bank's falling off. Y'all see that? If I hadn't looked, I'd have went swimming. This is the best I can do right here. Let's let him go. <laughs> he went back under that log. Wildwood flare, wildwood flare, wildwood flare, rear, rear. That feels like a, that feels like a crappie. I believe it is. Yeah, it is. Another crappie fish. I'll be dang man, oh man, oh man. Look at there, look at there, look at there. That little slab tail bait right there is deadly. Deadly little bait in certain situations. Look at there. Alright. It's a pretty fish right there. He ain't that little. Ooh, I hate doing that. I said, no, no, picking them up like that. See how he was just barely, barely hooked. I said, no, no. This creaking, I would advise anybody to go out here and explore your local creek. <laughs> that fish is 10 inches long. He's every bit of it. A black crappie. Let's let it. Go on back. That's what the bite feels like. 
that's exactly what the doggone bite feels like. It's just, well, and I knew it was a crappie fish. It don't matter if you catch them out of a creek, a pond, a lake, a river. That's how they bite, like snapping your fingers. Pitch it back over there again. Might be our another, and you never know. That's one reason I like these little light jigs. They're they're just perfect in these creeks. You don't have to fish them fast. You can just leave them in place. Like when I make a cast right there, I'm gonna let it fall about a foot and a half. Pick my rod tip up and let it just fall to me. And as far as a crappie's concerned, or a bluegill, that's about all it takes with a tiny jig like this one. Just by it, it moving. All it has to do is be moving a little bit. There's one. Oh my goodness. What have we got? Well, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Whatever this is. It's far too big for two pound line. See what I mean? I'm going to mess with him. But y'all can see I'm at a disadvantage. My line's up in the tree. <laughs> and there's trees and stuff everywhere. Rocks. And I got two pound line, so. He's coming this way. That's only because he wants to. See, he's going to get in that tree right there and it's going to be over. And it would be, look, I got a 1% chance of landing this fish right here. Beats all I ever seen. Well, no. These creeks are holding some good fish now. They really will. Let's take a look at him. There he is. That's a clean-looking fish, too, ain't he? Now, how am I going to land him? I'm going to have to go around this bush right here and take him back over here somewhere. Bank's too slick right here. I'll end up going swimming. <clears throat> He's right over here. That's two pound high, high vis vicious line. I catch a lot of big crappie on that. Like it's strong for two pound line for mono. I think we land him right here. No, nope. you're done. You're done. You're done. Look at there. Is that not a clean looking fish? And I didn't even get him in the mouth. Look here, I got him on the side of the jaw right there. And the barb wasn't even buried. The barb wasn't even buried. Is that not a lucky fisher? Oh, I don't know if that's mud or poo poo, but let's let him go. A beautiful lady. Look at there. They. Let's catch another one. <clears throat> Dog, it don't. You don't think I'll hurt. Nothing's coming to loose. Okay, right there. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. There's one. Oh my, what do we got right here, folks? Look at here. You know what that is? Let's get a good shot of it. That is a beautiful little fish. That's a coof, that's a Kusa red eye, I believe. Bass is what that's called. That's unique. It is. It's a Kusa red eye. I believe I said that right. I haven't caught many of these in my life. See his red fins right there? That's a beautiful little fish right there. That's rare. I've, I've only caught just a few of those in my life. Now he's to here. He'll be all right. Ain't that cool? 
I have caught several species of fish in this little bitty creek and good ones. That's amazing. Simply amazing to me. And it's a lot of fun with this little two pound line. There's one. Man, what do we got? That one's fighting funny. Look here. I want y'all to look at this. You know what that is? Y'all take a guess. <laughs> is that not a pumpkin seed? Oh, he, he's gone. Dad, gone it. I think that was a pumpkin seed. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what that was. Whoa! Folks, I'm going to tell you what. That, would, that was simply enjoyable. I mean, I had a lot of fun right there. I would suggest anybody to go creek fishing. If you know where a creek is and you've never fished it before, hey, man, do it because you never know. Now, that kind of surprised me what quality of crappie was in that creek. But like I say, you never know. And I believe that creek fishing has got to be the easiest form of the sport. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the comments, everything y'all do for this channel. And I love each and every one of you. Woo. Woo. I'm talking about woo. 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 And remember, go fishing when you can, but walk it. Good.